Reiz des Alpinkletterns. The particular attraction of alpine climbing is the variety. That means there are granite, limestone, dolomite, and nice rock faces. And these different types of rock all require different climbing techniques, and that's very appealing. In this neck of the woods, we mostly find three different types of rock when climbing. Nice, granite, and limestone. The attraction of multi-pitch climbing is that I can climb big, impressive rock faces. But it's also interesting to know that there are different types of rock, and that I may need to use different climbing techniques depending upon the type of rock. This can be the case more frequently depending upon the type of rock, and in particular the options for belaying can differ too. You'll find granite in the West Alps in particular. It's an excellent, stable rock with particularly good friction qualities. Because it's broken up with cracks and edges, granite is also very good for setting up your own anchors and is very popular with all climbers. You can find limestone from the pre-Alps to the Northern Alps, but also in the Southern Alps. Limestone is very compact and characterized by very small structures, cracks, overhangs, and chimneys. It's not quite as firm as granite, but is still good for setting up your own anchors. And one of the things it's known for is that it offers very steep rock faces and overhangs. Nice is frequently found at the Alpine Divide. Nice is reshaped granite, and thus for climbing purposes is very similar to granite. There are lots of cracks and little ledges, which is really great for climbing. However, Nice varies quite a lot in terms of rock quality. There is really great gneiss, but you may also find extremely brittle sections. The particular attraction of alpine climbing is the variety, and this variety means that you're always climbing on different rock. And these different types of rock all require different climbing techniques, and that's very appealing. And this is very